Hello there, once again, my ever faithful internet audience. It is I, the Chicken Man, back at again with another Apex Legends gameplay. And today's gameplay marks the first of a little series that I'm about to upload. You see, ladies and gentlemen, uh, contrary to popular belief, this is my first ever Battle Royale. And I feel like I'm pretty okay at the game, but I really want to improve. So what I've done, I've asked a really good player, you know, my buddy Jenks, to give me some coaching tips. We use the share play feature. He spectates me and he lets me know what I'm doing, what I should do, things that I should be looking out for. And I figured, you know, this is an educational experience. This is going to benefit you guys just as much as it benefits me. Let me know in the comments section below what you guys think. If you think this is a cool idea, if this is actually helping you in any shape or form, please let, let me know what you think. I would love to hear it. And with all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and cut into this live gameplay. I'm going to leave this in its entirety so you guys can see every little thing. Hope you enjoy, and I will see you in the next one. I'm not wrong about that. What you can do is you can land to the, to the left, or sorry, to the right of Octane Gauntlet. Yeah. Just a little, basically where you're aiming, a little bit to your left, and then yeah, you can hit that that zip line to, to scoot across. Yeah, so it's like a safe landing. Right. And then you can also get into the action real fast. We're taking a risk. Remember where that guy landed. He's gonna shoot above you. We find some armor. I wouldn't even hit those other two boxes. Okay. That guy's only got one little room to to hit, and he could instantly look down on you. See, there he is. There he is. He's already off the scene. Where you going, buddy? And it's a wrap. All right, nice job, dude. Lasagna is no more. So that wasn't bad. One thing I would change, though, is when he came down, you shot like a little bit prematurely, right? Yeah, that was, that, that, yeah, that was my finger. That was my finger slipping. <laughs> right. Yeah. So you do know then, it, you know, given it away. Been better. Exactly. Yeah, I got you. I I really don't want to use, really don't want to use this, but. Uh, I mean, there it we is go. what it is. Rock it. Yo, you could use a flatline for a close range. Just hit fire it. Too late. The flatline Mid. is actually pretty solid. You're not wrong. Up close that is, so you could use the Hemi for range, but it doesn't matter, the Devo's really good too. There's gonna be people here, for sure, for sure. There was people that landed. There was. And you got, you got purple, there was, yeah. You got purple armor in the middle ring. There he is. Go ahead. Unfortunate. Might be a good play to scoop that purple, just in case before he does. Okay. Oh, didn't grab. Okay, well now, now it got Harry because he's got the sniper, so you can't really go back for it. I hear somebody. I'm just gonna see how you play this out. I'm gonna watch. Okay. That's not quite where we're going Well played, perfect. I'm so full The main swing. thing that you did really, really, really well there was you didn't let you didn't let yourself get third partied. Exactly. That's the that's the most important thing. Never let yourself get third partied. That was great. So you could actually risk it. Oh, he's going for it too. Very good play. Very good play. That was smart on it. That was smart on it. I wasn't going to say anything. I was hoping you did it. <laughs> yeah, okay. Very smart play. Or circle, it's going to be there. Okay, so... Little things, little things too that I always try to pay attention to. Always run around with your batteries out. You right? The next thing you want to look for is you want to look for a different weapon. 
You want to get rid of either the Hemi or the 301. Yeah, I want to have like a more. So what what what, what you're saying? Like typically, you want to have like something for close range and something more for long range, right? Yeah. So like that gold beak, I would have taken that beak. Personally, you don't need to, but no. you know you need something for up close. And the beak is so strong that if you just like, let's say you kept the 301 and you hit fired your Hemi, for example. Or sorry, you kept the 301, you hit fired it, and then you could just use the beak to finish them off. Okay, well, why, why, why don't we give it a shot? Why don't we give it a shot? Like you said. Swap that for that. 16 shots with the beak. See if I can find just a little bit more ammo. There we Perfect. go. Perfect. Perfect, actually. Need, right? Don't need no more than that. So I'm going to go hit the balloon and move on to the next spot. We're going to... Yep. Woohoo! So you heard the gunfire? I did hit the gunfire over at Thunderdome. The storm is really close. No. So hitting the balloon was a really good call. You're bound to get a lot of kills late game. This is this is decent. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this. Absolutely nothing wrong. Yeah, they're still gonna be over there. They're still gonna be fighting. Whatever, yeah, dude. I wouldn't even bother. Because by the time we get over there, you know they're probably gonna be fighting a little bit more. Somebody else could possibly rotate in. And I'll just get destroyed. Best case scenario is you get one kill and then you're running in the storm. <laughs> I mean, that's best case scenario. The, yeah. the better option is to do what you're doing now because rather than try to get that one extra kill back there, you're making progress in the map and you can get way more. So you do know they're on the ship. What you can do is you can climb the house on your left. Rather than, I would never take a zip line onto the ship unless you absolutely have to. You climb the house on your left, you put your pad on the roof and you can get high ground. Good play. You can pop your bats while you're flying, flying in the air too. So now to play this, you know he's got a Devo, so you can bait him to start shooting, right? You bait him to start shooting and just tickle damage. You know he's got to charge it up. Use that to your advantage. Oh, what else in here? Uh. Perfect. Well played. Well played, dude. Champion, by the way, what do we got here? If you're uh, comfortable with it, what I would do is I would instantly swap off for that 99. Yeah. Rather than your 301. Rather than 301? Or, sorry, or, or the beak. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah. But I would keep the 301 for sure. Yeah, or the 99. I want to be rocking the R300 strat this go around. Sounds pretty good to me, TBH. Mm-hmm. Now at this point too, I wouldn't even bother looking at small heals. I'd only be looking for bats and med kits. So when you're looting, you're able to loot way faster. Okay. Nice. Okay, now be careful here because you know that he came from the top, so that means there there's people above there. too. Oh, there's still people on the you ship. Mm -hmm. Hold on. It's not even worth the push over there because I'm pushing into the storm where I can get easily exactly. get myself destroyed by people that are up on the exactly. ship. These guys are probably aren't gonna notice if I use the zip line. If I'm a, if I'm gonna keep it real. You can try. They'll, they'll probably hear it. If it's a good player, they're gonna hear it. He's coming down. That was good. That was really good. You know he's one shot. I know, but there's other there's two other people that could be coming yeah. in. Because he's he's gonna have to run. He's more scared than you are right now. You could have a gold bag though. Be careful. Absolutely destroyed. Well played. Dude. I wouldn't even hit his body. Wouldn't even hit his body. No, we're, we're off the scene. We're off the scene. We're off the scene. Off. I hear him. What you can do is you can set your pad on the left here. Hold on. And you can get up. Yeah, there you go. Exactly. I'm just getting, I'm just getting out of here. Always remember all your cover. You know that there is rocks over there. There's cover everywhere. All you need to do is just get off the scene fast. It's a great way to do it. So I wasn't gonna cancel it. What I would have done there is I would have either used small heal, small heals, or a phoenix, because you want to keep your batteries for your fights just in case a fight gets hairy here. But not the end of the world. Oh, getting fancy, huh? Um, 
I'm looking exactly where he's pushing. I'm gonna go behind them and I'm gonna do hit him with the fattest third party of uh, 2019. Very, there you go. Very well thought, yeah. Nice shot. I'm gonna hit him. I didn't mean to back up that much. So we're gonna hit him with the Ark of Faith. He's going all the way around. Alright. Don't worry about speed. Don't worry about speed. Go to the side and throw an arc. Okay, that works too. <laughs> oh, oh, no! That okay. hit me? Excuse me? I would, uh, I would get out. I would wrap around the left around that house and I would start getting out. That's a fast wrap. It's not even it's not even worth. What you can do here is you can actually gatekeep. So you can kinda get up towards like a point where you're safe and then try to gatekeep. You're right in the open. One of the biggest things is you wanna you wanna play at an angle where you're not gonna take damage. You don't wanna take damage. Understood. So by standing like right in the center like that, you basically gave him a free shot on you. There you go. Well played. There you go. Armor swap and then back up because you know that lifeline is probably going to be coming. Just be careful. Just to make sure you don't get pushed. Right. If nobody comes through the storm, then you can loot that body. I would stay closer to the body than anything, because you want to try to hit it, because you have no heals, right? Yep. You just want her to back away from the body, just in case that lifeline comes through the storm. Great. So now it gives you an opportunity here to loot those, loot those heals that you need. Awesome. You're in a really good spot here, dude. Now again, make sure you got your bats out. Now what you can do here is you can actually, you can play up top. Stay up top and just get, there you go. You hear him. Well played. Where did that guy self res? He's, he's under there. Sorry, friend. At this point, uh, yeah, you go. Now you're looking good. You got a battery, you got a fast seal, you got purple. You're good, man. You got the armor you need. If you're gonna single fire, accuracy uh, is more important than speed. Yeah. I need to try to, f like, maintain some sort of... There's oh, only okay. one left. He's not yeah. him. It's, he sees me. It's a Gibby, too. Uh, I'm gonna have to so risk, you've got the, risk the run. You can throw I have the arc stars. to make them... It make them push, and then you can speed boost, and you can run forward as fast as you can. As long as you get them to turn around, that's all that matters. That was your opportunity. Yeah. You waited. You 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 hesitated. Now I wouldn't worry about grenades at all. You're in a good spot. You're gonna kill himself that. Remember what I said about standing in the open and taking yeah. damage? Well played. Now don't worry about grenades. Don't worry about grenades at this point. Gun play. You're in the best spot here. Yeah, he has to but move first. What, what you could do here, theoretically, is you could actually stay above here and just and toss your nades like straight down. So when he goes forward, he's, he's gonna, gonna have to take a hit. So you could just jump on him. Yeah, there's he's nothing that he can hit. do. Now you I gotta remember nades. his cooldown too. He's gonna his bubble he's is gonna, gonna have be his bubble. cooldown. Yeah, so he's gonna it's, he's gonna have two seconds, two seconds without it, when the storm moves. Two seconds without it. You gotta pay attention to that shit too. 
you got to throw your grenade one second before the storm moves if you want to do it. And you're going to throw it on the ground inside the circle. I would go a little bit closer, I would. Now. There's the bubble. Very well played. <laughs> Very well played. That was perfect, dude. You used his bubble against him really well. It, it, that's it, like you see how exactly what I said is what happened. Mm -hmm. That's the things you gotta remember. The cooldowns you gotta know. Like you gotta pr try to predict what they're gonna do, how they're gonna move. I mean, it was a no-brainer to me. He's gonna try to get out there at the very last second. He's gonna try to throw his bubble down, but he's not gonna have his bubble until two seconds after the storm moves. It was literally exactly what happened. Yeah, Good you're job, right. dude. You're right. You're right. Good job. That was first first try, first game. That was, was awesome. First D, yeah. All right, let's go again. GG, GG.